Hello, this is Silly Mella here today and we are creating a bootable USB for OS X Yosemite. For this video you will need a USB, 3.0 preferred, and it has to be over 8 gigs. So 8 gigs or more. For the next video we, where we will upgrade a hard disk to an SSD in the MacBook, uh, you will need a screwdriver set and of course a Samsung SSD. I'm using the Samsung uh, SSD 850 EVO. You can use any SSD for that matter. So, let's get started. First, you have to plug in your USB, of course. Once it will pop up on your desktop, you will have to go to Disk Utility. You can either do that via the Application folder and go into Utilities, or you can very easily just click the Command spacebar and you can uh, type in disk and it will pop up as disk utility. Now you have to select your USB right there and click erase. Here you can just, you know, make sure that the uh, actual USB is completely emptied. So uh, give it a name, make sure you select format Mac OS extended, uh, Mac OS journal extended, that is. And just give it a name like OS 10 Yosemite. Make sure it's doing that. Once it's done, you can go to partition and select one partition. Go to name again. So just now choose a name you, you like. OS 10 Yosemite for me. And make sure it's once again select this Mac OS extended journal. And of course, make sure that it's using the full size, in this case, 8 gigabytes. Once that's done, you can tell in the uh, big box that it will be one partition right there. Now minimize disk utility and go into the App Store. Because there's one thing you will need, of course, for an installation of OS X Yosemite, and that is OS X Yosemite itself. So just download that, uh, click continue. And it will be downloaded as a program, which we can then put onto the uh, USB. So here you have it in Applications. There it is, Install OS 10. Then Show Package Content. You can do that by right-clicking on the uh, actual thing. Then go into Shared Support and double click the install esd.dmg file. Now it will uh, verify, just, just let it verify, because if you click skip, things will happen that you don't want. So just let it verify, be patient. A little bit patient. <laughs> okay, now that's done. You can see a file named packages. And you want different things here, so first of all you have to open terminal, which you can do via the command again. Just type in terminal. And now you will have to go to the description of my video and get the first line of code that I've placed in there. It, it will be named code 1. Just paste it into terminal and click enter. Now you can already see on my desktop that there are several files added, like DS store and localized. localized. And of course here as well, and once again the base system.dmg file has appeared in the installation folder. So that's very good. Now you can go to disk utility, uh, insert your USB, should come up any second now, yes there it is. So uh, select your uh, uh, USB and select the USB into the destination because that's where you want the file to go. Then select the base system.dmg into source and click restore and erase. Once that's done, you just have to wait and it will take about, well, something like uh, nine to 10 minutes. And if you're using USB 3.0, this will be a lot faster. So you can rather think of uh, something like four minutes. Now, once it's completed, this window will pop up. It's the complete installation folder for OS X, base system, as you can tell right there. 
uh, and you will have the USB down at the bottom of your desktop. Now here you have to go to a, a folder called systems, then go into installation and remove the file packages. It's an alias file, just remove that, throw it into the bin. And now go back to um, uh, not on the very first file, file where we had a whole folder full of packages, which is right there. It's in the OS 10 install ESD file folder. Just select the packages file entirely and uh, chuck it into the place where the original alias packages file was. Now, this will take a little while again because the packages file is about 4 to 5 gigs in size, depending on uh, which version of OS 10 you're using. Now, once that's completed, takes for me about more, more than five seconds, something like that. Once that's completed, you can close every single window that you've got open right now, except for the terminal. So close it all. Boom, 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 done. Nice. Now open up terminal again. Or if you have still have it open, just open it up. And select the second line of code that is in the description of this video and paste it in right there, click enter, and boom, you're done. All the other icons have disappeared and you have a bootable USB. Just eject all your uh, installation disks and you're good to go. If this video helped you out, please be so kind to leave a like or a comment and watch one of the other videos. For instance, the SSD upgrade or the HD versus SSD boot test. Now thank you very much for watching and see you later.